To add objects into your level, you place down some entities using the entity tool, fourth one down, it's called entity tool. And it'll make some things that look like terrorists, but they can be anything from plant pots to trees to oil drums. You double click on them, and you change their class to prop underscore static. This is if you want something like a tree, or something that doesn't move. You type in tree into the filter, it'll come up with street signs because it has tree in it. If you go down a bit, it should have trees, yeah. These are all really oversized and everything, and they'll look massive in your level, like this. Going above my skybox, which isn't good, so it's only for demonstration purposes. If you want to have something that moves around in the level, make another entity. I'm going to call this one a prop mm, physics. Go to wild model, browse, and I'm going to make an oil drum. O, o I L D R U M. Okay, and here's an oil drum, and in the level you'll be able to knock these around, and if you combine it with bumpy ground it'll be quite fun. I'm going to make another thing, just to show you. You've got to be careful with some things. For instance, with cars, there'll be two versions of each car, one for static and one for physics. Just find one. Car, it says car a dot mdl and car a underscore physics. The physics one will work with physics, and the other one won't. So for this I'm going to use a physics one, because it's a prop physics. I've also found another problem. If you try to make trees and everything, and you make it a prop detail, it doesn't seem to work. But prop static seems to do the same thing, but it works. So that should be alright. Have fun making physics objects. Try piling loads of cars on top of each other and making them fall down. That's fun. Bye.